There's different forms to the whole writing linear equations, and we know we all have our favorites, and there's some, there's some division in the world as to which ones are coolest. I think standard form might be the least cool. And I don't, you know, not to pick favorites, but uh, it's this. The standard form, so you're probably familiar with y equals mx plus b. y equals, you know, 2 thirds x plus 5. That's definitely the equation of a line. And you're like, well, I know my slope is 2 thirds, my y-intercept is 5, and you've probably seen that in my other very exciting videos. But standard form, like, what is standard form? Standard form, it's still the same line. You know, writing one line in three different forms, point, slope, form, slope, intercept, and standard form, that's not a different line, it's just how you present it. And so standard form is this. It's some x plus some y equals some number, 10, okay? And the rule is this x cannot be, or the y, it cannot be negative or a fraction. The y can be negative, don't get me wrong. But this cannot be a fraction or negative. So if you had something like half x plus y equals 5, wrong. That is totally not standard form. You would have to remedy this half by multiplying the whole problem, in this case, by 2. Okay, fix it. So then I would have 1x plus 2y equals 10. That is fine. That's standard form. So no negatives, no fractions. Okay? And a lot of the questions will be like, you actually will find the linear equation in one of your other favorite forms and then transform it. So they might say, they might give you something like this. You know, y, again, y equals 2x plus 5 and say, that is definitely a line and it's in slope intercept form. Not cool. Put it in standard form. So you're like, hmm, okay. You're going to get the, first thing you're going to do is get the x to the right side. So you're going to say minus 2x minus 2x, negative 2x plus y equals 5. They don't add because they're not like terms. You can't just make that like, negative 2xy. Or so. they, can't, they don't add. They're not like terms. So now I'm done, right? There's only one issue. This is not okay for standard form because that's a negative 2x. It's not a fraction. So we're cool there. But the negative is not cool. So I'm going to multiply the whole problem by negative 1. Everybody changes. So I have 2x minus y equals negative 5. Now I'm totally done. Again, same line. Why you would write different forms, you know, it's up to the whim of your teacher. So, but it is easy, so don't panic. So here's one that they gave us in point slope form. So let's say it's like y minus 1, and then you have equals 5, and then parentheses x minus 2. And they want us to put this, that looks like a 2, but it's an equals. They want us to put this in standard form because they're evil, right? So let's do it. y minus 1, I can just get rid of the parentheses. Distribute this 5, 5x minus 10. I need to get my 5x to the other side, minus 5x, minus 5x. So I have negative 5x plus y minus 1 equals negative 10. This negative 1 is getting on my nerves, so I'll add this guy out of here. So then working above, well, let's see, I'll have negative 5x plus y equals negative 9. Is that done? Okay. Totally not done because you cannot have a negative for standard form. So I'm going to bring this back up. Multiply the whole problem by negative 1, so you're going to have 5x minus y equals positive 9. You get that? You totally get that? So that's standard form. If they gave you a different form and told you to change it, that's what we just mastered. But what if they just give you a fresh problem and they say something like this? Put this in standard form. I would do it in whatever form you like first. So I would do this like in maybe point slope form or maybe y uh, or slope and intercept form. But basically, the first thing we need is a slope, right? And you remember from previous videos, the slope is y minus y, 6 minus 5 over x minus x, 3 minus 2. So this slope is 1. Cool? Then from there, let's just do whatever form. Let's just do slope, or no, let's just do point intercept form or point slope form. Everyone's getting all confused. So let's do y minus our y equals slope times x minus our x. If that's confusing, go like search for my video on point slope form. And then from here, multiply it all out, mess with it, and get to standard form. y minus 5, distribute the 1, right, minus my x over. Then I would have negative x plus y minus 5 equals negative 2 plus 5 plus 5 negative x plus y equals 3, divide everybody by negative, then you'd have x minus y equals negative 3. 
So that's it. They're pretty straightforward. Do the problem in whatever form you want and then switch it to standard, okay? Last example where we have to do that. So you'll have a point, 1, 5, and they'll say, oh, and also this line is perpendicular to this other line that we have, right? So something like y equals 2x plus 5. What do I do here? I take my slope that they gave me, right? First, let's do point slope form. y minus my y equals slope times x minus my x. And then what is my slope? Remember, if I'm perpendicular to this guy, my slope is the negative reciprocal to him. So if he's 2 over 1, I'm negative 1 over 2. That's my answer. Mess with it, just like we did for the last few, and get it in standard form. So don't solve for them in standard form. Get whatever form you like, and then switch them. And remember, if you're having a hard time at your local high school, you can take this online at Silicon Valley High School, pass it there, and the credits will be transferred back to you.